Hey people, welcome back to Subnautica. Getting the bridge fragments right away here. Ooh, got the power transmitter. Laser cutter. And the bridge fragment is gotten. Alright. Uh, let's head back to our life pod now. And maybe see if we can get a laser cutter on the way. Laser cutter. Acquired. There we go. Now actually back to the base thing. Okay, we're back. We got radio, and we need to craft some water. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. Ooh. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad... how many of you... I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Well, that's good I news. Say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I... Reassuring. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, you bet they are. Okay, last bit of water here, and then we want. I picked up some titanium and lithium on the way as well, just because we will need inevitably need some ingots and plastic ingots. So we'll just do that right now. Some ingots for the moon pool. We also... That we should make soon, I think. We should make it near the surface, because I don't really want to... Make... You know... Words are hard. I don't want to make aerogel yet, for... And we don't have the blueprints for the heat generators. So, it would be best to just... You know, make it near the surface and be sold. It. So, you don't have to really do anything. So in in that case, let's make. What well, what do we have? We have the blueprints for our laser cutter now, so we can probably make that and then go to the Aurora, because that's really all we need. So two diamonds and cave sulfur. We might have that actually right in this box here. Uh, two diamonds and cave sulfur is just right down here. Ow, there's two of them. Oh, there's three. Ow, oh, darn it. I know if you stab them, you can stop them from exploding, but I'm just not that good. I've done it a couple times. Oh, there's another one. Not after me, though. Okay. Let's grab some more metal. We, uh, yep, that's good. We'll also want quartz for the solar panels, so. Titanium. That's not enough to craft another one, but we can craft a laser cutter. Good. And that's everything that we'll need, I think. Uh, let's put our titanium ingots in there. We got two more titanium. Which I think is enough to make another ingot. No, just missing one. Um, let's pray that this limestone outcrop that is going to be right here. No, not here. Here drops the titanium that we need, which he does. So now we can just go craft the titanium ingots here. Good and. We can make enough, um, uh, you know, plasteel for the Cyclops if we want to now. But we do not even have the full blueprint. We need the engine from the island that we'll just wait for our good old Sunbeam buddies to get to. So do we... Can we make a floating storage thing? I'm pretty sure that's two titanium. Waterproof lock for titanium, even. We can put two of this here. Food, or er, this is always good to bring. Let's bring this food. Um, I'll bring more water, fire extinguisher, dump all this. That seems good. We won't need the rebreather, because, okay. That's just... That's gonna be the countdown, I'm betting. Or Life Pod 4. 
which we haven't gotten yet. Life watch, 12. Oh, okay. Fine, we'll get you on the way back, buddy. Thank you. Um, we got this. Oh, that I didn't drink. There we go. And to the Aurora. Hey there. You're a floater. Oh, my good. Data box? What was that? Creature decoy. Okay. There it is. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope yeah. scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. Okay. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Good thing that's what we're Warning. on. Ship's structural board to integrity do. is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. All right, let's equip this then. Um. Caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Yeah. Probably those little crab fellas. Maybe. Or something bigger. Thank you. Love to have the water. Hmm. What's this? Integrating new PDA data. Otero launches the Aurora. The farthest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand. As Altera Corp launches a newly constructed capital ship carrying a phase gate bound for the Aradian Arm. Aradni Arm. Uh, the Aurora will travel from space from a space dock on the edge of Altera space, making hundreds of consecutive phase gate jumps through nine different transgov authorities, and arrive on the far side of the Aradni arm in three months' time. From there, the command crew will pilot the ship beyond final phase gate, arriving in the next solar system approximately 18 months later. There, the elite team of engineers will begin a six-month construction project on a new phase gate, multi-trillion credit investment uh, an, uh, a multi-trillion do uh, dollar investment the absence of existing infrastructure in the region uh, in the absence of a, uh, existing infrastructure in the region the vessel is equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power, power facilities Volterra Corp currently operates 9% of all phase gates in the galaxy if the Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will have outmaneuvered the capital or the cabal of the Mongolian corporations, operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. That's a lot. Okay, maybe hopefully this is a. Oh, okay. Um. So we're here in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate. All right. This is just the codes to access the cargo bay, which will be handy. Um, I believe we could just make this jump. Oh. No, come on. One more try. There we go. Was it 1454 something? 1454, yeah. Um, I'm sure Scans I pressed that five. To the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. That's always good. Dude, yeah, yeah. 
nutrient block. I will scan the sea moth. Or there's also a depth module in here, I believe, which is great. Yep. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Um seems like game logs. Got some sea moth fragments. Alright, do we have a modification station? I think we should. Uh, that would be here. No, we need one more. Which we'll need to go back to the mushroom forest for. Anyway, let's go to the drive room and repair that. Containment breach repaired. Further breaches detected. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And the last one is done. Yeah. Let's get out of here. That's really all we needed to do. Should go away in three days, I think. Um, I don't even know if we really want the prawn suit. Uh, what is... Just put this one as five. Um, we'll just go scan it anyway. Whether or not we use this is a different matter. Do some goodies. Giant freaking data. robot suit. One eight six nine. Okay, that's a cabin code. Auxiliary mission orders. That's just talking data. about saving. Degassi, I think. Um, let's go. Yep. Repair this. Oh, I hit my microphone. And here's the prawn suits. Picking up a faint black box signature originating on the other side of the hull breach in this room. All right, and this is the last one. Oh no, one more. The fire one. Did that, did I only scan three or does that other one not count? Okay, that would be Sunbeam that's uh, coming through there. On the radio. There we go, we got the Pecan suit. Let's grab some nutrition blocks. How much space do we got? Quite a bit. Filtered water, which we can actually drink a disinfector right now. Uh, let's go over here. What's this nutrition block? That's good. Vending machine, great. Let's grab this. This is just the. Yeah, that's just today's menu. Okay, we don't need that. Eh, we really don't need comforts. I like chairs and stuff. I will take a bed, though. That's nice. And that could be put in our Cyclops. I don't think it'll fit in the moon pool. Yeah, that's the, uh, codes. Clues and codes, clues and codes. Oh, sweet offer. 1869. Yeah? Okay. I'd get... Double bed. Okay, that's not good. No voice logs. New blueprint acquired. I don't remember this one. That's the captain's quarters. Did I pick up a poster earlier? Why do I? What did I do that? I don't need a poster. That's huge. Okay. Ooh, PDA. 
Okay. Listen, I know I don't have the right to make demands of you, but I need you to understand that I want to change our arrangement. I hear what you're saying, and I will try to respect it. How would you like to change it? I would like to reduce our contact hours. How much further can we do that? To zero. You're dumping me. I'm changing the terms of our relationship. How is it still a relationship if we don't see each other? It's a relationship of a kind. You have so many expectations. I feel you just want to spend more time with that dumb guy in his dumb robot suit. That's not a feeling. It's a judgment. And I feel hostility in what you're saying. Perhaps your jealousy is offended. You need to take another look at your business model. Why can't you just be happy for me? I am happy for you. And I'm happy for all the guys in the prawn bay. I'm just not happy for me. This is why I want to change our arrangement. That is cruel. Need a blueprint acquired. It's a rough relationship, I guess. Let's get out of here. Back to. Actually, let's go to Life Pod 12. Meet you there. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency. What was that? Repulsion. Need a blueprint acquired. Integrating new PDA data. Let's go home immediately. Integrating uh, new PDA go this way. data. Quick. Home, sweet home. Ah. That was sideways. Not how you use that. I don't think. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm the one that's wrong. Talk to me. This is Life Pod 7. Oh. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to Oops. data bank. Okay. Data bank. Uh, okay, here it is. Um, stern. What? I don't know. I I don't. Do I care enough to do this? Looks like the drag field, maybe. No, not really. Let's, um, heal up, I guess, and well, what do we want to do now? Make a moon pool? Make a build tool, probably, first. Uh, what does that cost us? What is, okay, we can make, um, computer chip, wiring chip, wiring kit, and battery. Okay, I'll do that. See? Yeah. It works. I told ya. There we go. That's our last thing that we need for this little guy. And... ...is designed to construct habitats. Capable of withstanding extreme environmental conditions. Nice. Okay. Where should we put it, though? Let's just put it on top of the big coral tube, I guess. Maybe. Why did. Oh, I switched off. I thought I was dying for a sec. Because the sound stopped. Come on. I want it near the sur- I want it- Do I want it above the surface? No. I want its roof to be above the surface. Like, can I- Yeah, this should be 100% sun up here. And it should be enough to- Yep. 
This looks like a good place. All right. Okay. Who's this? This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former. That only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. What was that? Might just be We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Okay, well, the question is, if I got on their ship, would they have permission to land since they have someone that's a trillion dollars in debt on board? Oh, the sun again? Oh, no. That's too bad. This is life pod six. I have a passenger on board. Coordinates attached. We've landed a kilometer uh, from the crash site, but there's radiation in between us and the rendezvous. Request immediate assistance. Six out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Okay. That's another one that you have to figure out, I guess. Okay, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, where, where, what am I doing? What am I getting? Something or other. Lube. I think I need lube. Lube acquired. And I need one more lead. Do we have? Nope. Ugh. Lead hunting. Yay! We got the lead. Great. Back to the base. Here we go. Yeah. You can't dock yet because there's no power. I don't think. Nope. Oh. It's trying. <laughs> Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Aw, oh, shucks, eh? Okay, I think we can go. Yeah, we can, we can stand on it. That's good. And then... After solar panel. Without Ooh. human contact. It is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. We got a lot of resources, I guess. And I will anthropomorphize you. PDA. I'm not good at names, so that's going to be your name. This is what you are. That. Yeah, we don't have. Oh, we don't have enough quartz. That's that's an easy fix, I think. I think we could park the seamoth on top of it if we wanted to. Um, yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> there is no way of getting this down now. I don't think, huh? unless we get a propulsion cannon. Good, good. Um. <laughs> Good choices all around, you know. Um, yeah, I'll sort this out. Well, this is unfortunate. I can't deconstruct it because there's a sea moth in the way. And, uh, well, I can't get a propulsion can because we didn't find the rest of the blueprints. So, hmm. That's a pity. <laughs> At least we'll get power. <laughs> And maybe, if we're lucky. Can we turn? No, we can't turn. Yeah, we, 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 we're cooked. That's... A, a, a beautiful day, isn't it? Um... Anyway, at least these, these are getting pretty good sun. I will meet you back with plans for a propulsion cannon. Crazy. Aha! We got it. Hello, Peeper. Uh, we need acid mushrooms and then we can craft it. I gathered the other resources on the way back, just forgot to do anything with it. Like, record it, I mean. Yes. 
Iron kit. And I just need titanium, which I'm surprised I didn't have on me. There we go, propulsion cannon. Anyway, I can take this out, switch it, and get rid of my helmet now. Why are you... Where are you? Are you physically trapped inside the buoy? Anyway, we have this now, which might be handy. In getting this off of my roof. Eh, great. There we go. Welcome yeah! Perfect. Welcome aboard, Captain. Yeah! Now you could charge. And you, and you four, should be at 100% sunlight. Yeah? Yeah? No? Is there a way to get 100% or did I, am I just looking at it at the wrong time? Is there no way to get this? There might be no way to get that. Hmm. 89. Seems pretty straight up to me. I don't know. Whatever. Um, you are now good enough. I decree to go let's go to the, the yeah see habitat yeah yeah we could do that and then i want to get the mod station upgrade our depth module and that will be it for today all right it's just right down here we'll probably get wormed maybe maybe not no no worm cool Need to oh okay. There's a worm. Fun. Okay, let's grab that first of all. That's good neat. Kinda cool. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy. Why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes so long data. as she does what she's told. What if she does? Integrate new PDA data. People always do. The conditions in this cave support a microcosm ah. of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting oh. an artificial structure somewhere in the region. You mean the one I'm in? Integrating new PDA. Uh -huh. Okay, let's grab. It's always fun. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Integrating new PDA data. twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life's toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my life. Integrating new PDA Father data. Approves. He says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, 
which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Coevolution gives me the fuzzies. Oh yeah, the real fuzzies. PDA data. Okay, there's fluid intake. more. Did I scroll past them? Nope, okay. Stalker teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for the father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. What's the point in surviving here, if we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful? I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. All right. Um, let's get away from the snakes before going into our PDA to get the next one. Um, where are we? Here. Habitat location. Uh, okay, that. Did we already listen to this? I know the. I know it. What is that thing? I don't know. I think we listened to that one. Son, uh, There's always pecking order. We're, there we go. We're, we're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's gonna do it again and again until it's shut off. Do you see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same, and I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at sea level. Seek fluid intake immediately. Uh uh. I ate. Oh, I drank already. Okay, now I need to orient myself because I believe this is where I'm wanting to go for the mushroom forest. And let's pull out the last voice log Dilemma. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level, more than a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne Arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So... It's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. 
She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet, they'll be talking about the Torgel's share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> yeah, that's what you should be worried about. Okay, well, I'll come back when I got that mod station. Here it is! We got the modification station. Yeah! Ooh, and there's also a time capsule here. I know. Um. I tried so many times to end me. Just as it ended my crewmates. This time capsule is dedicated to their posterity. So long and thanks for all the fish. Uh, ooh. Ooh, that one's got an ion battery. Nice. Um, that one's just got normal. That one's got an ion battery. Ah. Uh, oh, ion battery. Good. Okay, we got some ion batteries. That's great. We'll sort that out when we get home. But that's a good find. Pretty cool, if I do say so. Meet you there. And here we go. First time on here. That's great. Um, or... First time do Ah, uh, no it's not. That's a big lie. Every part of it. Okay. So we've got... Let, let's just... Uh, let's get out of the water here and just dump what we don't want in this big guy. So, we'll dump this one. We want the big flashlight. Dump this repair tool. Laser cutter, laser cutter. Okay. Scanner, okay, dump this. That seems to be all. So now these got some ion batteries. Nice. Oh, uh, what, what dropped in there? Oh, that's a scanner. Okay. Can we make that vehicle upgrade station? Is that a thing we could do yet? Probably better to look in here. Interior pieces. No, I guess it comes with a scannable. And all we need for this is a computer chip. Let's... Yeah, let's do that. I said I wanted to upgrade before the end of the video. And that's the last thing we'll be doing. Okay. And I think that's it. So let's just grab the gold. Uh, no, we need two table coral, which should be just right here. Yeah. Uh, I need to... Can I propulsion cannon these off? Does that work? No? Okay. Uh, let's put this in slot 5. Boom, boom. And then... Let's... Where? Oh, where? No, what, what am I doing? It's not... Wait, yeah, we need... We need copper wire... Then, we need a computer chip. That should be enough. Yep. To then go back to our little base here. Make the mod station. And upgrade our depth module. So, let's put it over in this corner. Until we get that vehicle upgrade station, then we can put it next to it. Alright. Oh, do we have to research it? No. How do we research that? Oh, so we can make that... Actually, we can make that already. And the ultra glide fins.
I don't know where you scanned that. Four of those, yeah. And... What else? I have the rebreather on, right? Yeah. Did we have to scan that upgrade module? Was that something you could do? I don't really know. Uh, we do have enough, should have enough space for this. Yeah, just enough. Not to have this in our inventory, though. But, there we go. Beautiful. 180 seconds. Why, why is this not in seconds? That's kind of weird. Okay. Is there a way that we can scan this or am i just forgetting something that i did in the last one drop please don't phase through anything okay it, it doesn't say i could scan it let's uh grab it before it phases out of existence don't want that to happen Um. Huh. I maybe we need that vehicle upgrade station first. That's too bad. Ultra glide isn't that bad either. I'm. We're doing upgrades. Yeah. Yeah. Wah. Radio. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. Ah. We have a landing site for you. That's. Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. Okay. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. Don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. All right. Oh, I need my fins up. I think I could get. Yeah, good. Ultra glide fins. We are moving now. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. That'll be it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Seek fluid intake.